This is going to be a quick video on how you can offload external scripts to Google Tag Manager to improve your site speed. Um, external scripts usually cause quite the delay in, in page load speed. So it's always a good idea to offload whatever you can to Google Tag Manager and uh, add a delay. So for example, um, that Facebook pixel would only fire after three to five seconds and not immediately. Again, I'm going to use survival hacks as example. I mentioned uh, this uh, GTM offloading in a previous audit and the site owner asked me how he can do this. So I thought, um, because there aren't any tutorials on Google, as far as I could tell, um, that I'm just going to do a quick video on this. Okay, so um, first of all, you'll have to, to add Tag Manager to your site. You'll have to add a script to your header or, or body or whatever. When you, when you sign up for this, it's, it's going to show you the code. So just add this to your site. In this case, it's already on the site. Um, then it's a good idea to run a lighthouse um, analysis on your site and uh, see which which third party code causes the the most delay and and blocking time and so on so in this case i'm just going to offload the facebook pixel because uh, yeah it's it's quite a lot of code and it's easy to offload i'm sure it's going to work with tech manager um, in some cases, the uh, script code, the JavaScript, won't work in Tag Manager and you have to modify it slightly. Um, so I'll use uh, Facebook Pixel as an example. So um, I just open the source code of, of the site to find the, the JavaScript we want to offload. And there it is. Okay, anyway, uh, let's, let's go back to Google Tag Manager and, and first set up our trigger. So uh, yeah, navigate to your workspace, then triggers, then click add new. Um, let's call this, I don't know what kind of delay should we use. Let's use five seconds for Facebook pixel. This is actually going to get you better data as well because it's only going to track users that actually stay on your site for five seconds or longer. So. Um, you won't get any kind of spam users that, that drop off after two to three seconds. Okay, so let's name this trigger like this. Okay, now for trigger type, we'll have to select timer um, and interval in, in milliseconds, so 5,000 in this case, that would be five seconds. I'll limit this to once and now we'll have to um, to select page URL contains um, and then uh, just use this this forward slash uh, this basically uh, is going to match every single page on your site because in this case we want to fire the Facebook pixel on all our pages you can also fire some scripts on specific pages um, to kind of yeah keep your site clean in case you you only use uh, you only need a script on a specific page um, Yeah, and this trigger fires on all timers So that's that's everything you need for this trigger then hit save And the next step is to add a new tag of course So again add a new tag. Let's call this Facebook pixel um here we have to select custom html and now we can just uh, paste this facebook pixel script right there and um we'll also have to set this to fire once per page um and then select the trigger we we just created the the timer and then hit save and that's actually all there is to it so you can just set up different uh, different timers in case you want to fire something sooner or later you can use this for for delayed pop-ups or something um live chat uh, uh, like facebook messenger or intercom or whatever um that's definitely something you should offload 
five seconds usually works well. I sometimes use three seconds, in some cases even just one second. Um, or something like 30 seconds in case of, of some, some pop-ups or something that should load later. Yeah, and then all you have to do is uh, hit this submit button at the top to um, make this make this live on your site. I won't do this in this case because uh, you'll have to remove the Facebook pixel first from your WordPress setup so it doesn't fire twice. Um, but yeah, you can basically do this with uh, every external script including analytics and whatever else you use. In this case there are quite a few external scripts. Tag Manager has to remain of course, Google Fonts as well, Add to Any could be offloaded, I'm not sure what this is, this could probably be offloaded as well. Uh, this one as well with maybe a shorter delay to, to avoid kind of page shifting when the display ads load. Um, but yeah, just just play with this and see what you can off offload and how it works and this is definitely going to, to increase performance. And it's it's basically one of the quickest ways to improve your site speed other than of course using good hosting and a clean clean theme and all that